and I will keep my hand. We're on the draw, which is sad. <clears throat> Polluted Delta, breeding pool. What is this? Oh, playing against Merfolk. Okay, so we do not want to fetch our green card, our blue land. Blue green. I haven't played against blue green Merfolk. At least we're gonna have turn one Delirium. Overgrown two. We don't want another land, so let's. Get an overgrown tomb. <sighs> okay. Surprised my opponent didn't just go get botanical, oh, because I can't go botanical sanctum. They could have gone breeding botanical sanctum, command of speaker, botanical sanctum, tap land, and saved themselves two points of damage. But. Mutable, so that's what they drew. Okay. Let's traverse <clears throat> for a death shadow. My opponent's going to need a lot more gas <laughs> in order to deal with this death shadow. <clears throat> yeah, my opponent cost themselves three points of damage when they didn't have to do that. Botanical Sanctum, we got a Lord. Spreading Seas, all right. Okay, so I think I'm going to attack. So if I attack, I can go Thought Seize, puts me to 8, 6, block here, but if they draw a Lord, then I die. So I don't think I want to do that. I do think that I want to get in for 5 points, though, because attack for 5, puts them to 12, play another Death Shadow. Play another Death Shadow. Or I can hold off the fort here unless they draw a Lord that gets Island Walk. But if they draw a Lord that gets Island Walk six, I go to then I die. If they go exactly Lord, because then they go shock themselves. So I don't even think I can. Lord three six. Three, six, nine. Yeah, I can't even shock myself. <clears throat> My opponent wants to trade there, then that would have been all right with me. So I think I'm going to go like this. And then I will pass, and next turn I'll hold up Abrupt Decay on something, shocking myself, probably. I don't want to put this into play tap because I might want to shock myself. Because like if my opponent goes, what do you got? This feels like a lord. <clears throat> We're gonna find team or battle rage would be sweet. Okay, harbinger. Then I take six, take four, but it does not attack. All right. So if I shock myself, then, so I think my opponent's got breeding pool and one unknown card. The problem here is if I shock myself, then my opponent just takes it and then kills me on the crackback. So I think I'm going to play this. Attack. Be able to fetch a basic in case my opponent gets weird with what they're doing. And then we're going to play another Death Shadow. And then 
hope my opponent. I guess I now that was nah, that might have been wrong. That was probably wrong now that I think about it. Because but I'm, the problem is I, I I guess I could eleven shot them in one turn, but then I can't kill them if they hold back this mutal vault. So if they go like Lord here, then I take nine. If they go Lord and attack, I take nine. So I'm dead to a Lord, which is right here. So if my opponent fires this up. Yeah, that was just that was a mistake. Yeah, I messed that all up. Gosh, that's frustrating. All right, concede. Yeah, that's frustrating. I don't deserve to win that one. But then I guess he's got me in a pickle either way. Because if I only play one dash, I don't have a removal spell, and he doesn't animate this mutal vault, then then I'm in trouble over two turns with the rage right there. Oh man, that's like the best card in this matchup. All right, so I like boarding this out, boarding this in, just so we don't have the island. I don't like the stubs in this matchup. I do like Last Hope and Kozilex Return. And I like Veils on the play. So I think I'll bring in A Brutality, just because I think they're better than stubs. Yeah, that's frustrating. That one was my fault, though. It was like kind of my fault, but it was also kind of like... Let me change this here. To like... We couldn't beat... My opponent's sequence right there, I don't think I could beat them either way unless I draw Team of Battle Rage. All right, we'll keep this. We do have some removal, which is good. Get Overgrown Tomb. All right, we're just going to take both of the spreading seizes, kind of make it so that our opponent can't double spell, and this Collective Brutality will be able to pick off at least one of these two. That's a good draw. So they picked up a Silver Gale Adept, which is... One of their better cards, for sure. I'm just gonna make it so I can cast my uh, cast my spells. I think it's time to get the Blood Crypt. They're through two of these, so I want to just have that out to be able to team or battle rage. And then I'm probably gonna play Brutality and maybe not Escalate it. I don't know. It depends. I might go you know, like push Traverse for another Death Shadow, depending on what I draw. So there's a polluted delta. There's that. So we know that's still in his hand, but the silver gill adept is not See what my opponent's top card is. Relic. So now we definitely should. We'll go here. We need to pop this traverse off while we can. I should have traversed and played. I guess I want to get... Uh, one point doesn't really matter. But... Maybe it was better to traverse and play a Death Shadow. Oh, we drew a fetch land, so that's good. So I'd assume the opponent plays the Relic and maybe pops it. Just to... I guess they're going to find their land. So there's Lord of Atlantis. Okay, so they're holding up Dispel. So now I think I just play two threats. So we're going to get in there, make this guy huge, get another Overgrown Tomb. And then just go Goyf Death Shadow. And then my opponent has to block at least one of these next turn. Well, I guess the Tarmogoyf's going to make that awkward, but they can't play Relic and Pop It and have Master of Pearl Trident unless they have a land, which they do. Yeah, so maybe I should have played that differently. I can't attack with both my Death Shadows, though. All right, so now I just duress them. Right, which, which mode did I put? I duress them here. I 
Oh god, they have double dispel. So now I think I attack with both of these. Opponent doesn't block, so now we just... And because it's part of the cost, they're dead anyways. Even if they dispel this. The old dismember death shadow combo. Dismember to send a message. I like it. All right, so let's begin sideboarding. Uh, probably will take out a veil for another brutality, especially if they're bringing in that many um, discard spells. Again, I don't really want this as a static caster because I don't want blue in my deck. That's how that's how you beat Merfolk. You you have like a good stretch of discard spells to start. And then with your discard spells, you, uh, the discard spells, so then when you have the discard spells, I'm going to keep this, especially if my opponent's ball getting, um, you get rid of their two for ones, which are the spreading seasons, you make it so you can cast your spells. Oh, he's got a relic. It's a bit annoying, but this is a death shadow hand here. I guess we'll wait on this because we don't exactly know what we want to get. We are going to go slow, though, until we find a threat. So again, we take Silver Gill Adept, just anything that lets them draw cards, because we know there's a land on top. And now my opponent can only beat for two, they can't do anything else. <clears throat> Now we're now we're off to the races. I'm actually just gonna play. I guess there's no point. I should thought seize my opponent. Take this harbinger because this harbinger is gonna be annoying. And then I can just deal with the rest of my opponent's hand. Hopefully, I don't draw like a dismember. Dismember would suck. They cycled that, okay. That's the right play by them, I think. You're not getting it. Like, this doesn't matter anymore now that I have a Death Shadow. Jeez. So I think we fetch here down to six. That's probably about as low as we're going. Like, you know, we have three removal spells. We can make this a two-turn clock with this fetch land. We'll probably fetch a basic. There's just no need to go that low in life. Another relic. Looks like we're going to pick up another win in the challenge. So we're just going to fetch this tapped now, just to make this two turns even. And the Kozlex return should all but sew everything up. Mm-hmm. You get a Death Shadow. I kill your Death Shadow. And they know that, you know, they must know that was going to happen. So let's draw a card. What do we got? All right, we're 2-2. Two, two. So now we get some more Grishel brand action. That was elementary. But that's how that works. When you play against Merfolk and you don't let them spreading seize you and attack your lands... You're gonna you're gonna get them. Like it, how you lose to Merfolk is you let them mess with your lands. So let me switch my stream decker.
So then we can go over here. View these prizes. So 16th is going to be good. 9th through 16th. That's what we're shooting for. At the moment. Maybe we'll top 8. You never know. But... I would be thoroughly surprised if that was to happen. All right, opponent, come on. All right, I think we, we have to ship this hand. I, I would imagine that this deck actually mulligans all right because you've got Cathartic Reunion, Faithless Looting, and Knight's Whisper. So like you have just have a lot of way to churn through your deck. So I think that if you get one of those, you should be able to move back and forth. Oh, I should take this. Stop recording.